Hello friends. Today we are going to introduce you to one of the very first water mist turbine generator machine which has been inducted in entire India. This is the first such unit in complete India which is imported from the foreign country. The basic component of this machine is there is a pump. We supply water inlet from four hose streams. There is a pump which boosts the pressure and that pump pumps this water to the turbine. The turbine is in the forehead direction. This turbine is just like a jet engine. And what it does, it sucks off the air, compresses it, ignites it, and the air expands and the expanded air is thrown out with a velocity of 650 km per hour. This huge volume of air with this huge velocity traps the water. The water in the form of mist to a distance of 120 to 180 meters, depending upon the wind direction and the wind velocity. Now we all know that water mist is the most, is the technologically most advanced system of firefighting these days. But the only problem with water mist is that the small droplets of water reduces the flow of flow. But this machine expels water to a distance which not even HVLR, high volume long range monitors cannot do. It throws it to a distance of 120 meters. And the added advantage of this is that with this small droplet of water size, that is something around 30 microns, I repeat it, 30 microns, this small droplet of water size is so capable of firefighting that the increased surface area absorbs the heat from the fire. And the, and the liquid, that is the water which evaporates and, ex, and uh, it absorbs the heat from the fire and it expands to a volume of 1700 times. This expanded vapor displaces the air around it and thus it helps to fight fire in two and three directions. This is what turbine is like. It can rotate to a degree of 180 degrees, left and right, and 65 degrees on the top and horizontally 90 degrees. The main component of it is with the turbine, the controllers over here, the program logic controller that is the PLC system powered by heavy duty batteries. So As we told you, the whole unit is an automatic system. Everything is controlled by the PLC that is the program logic controller system. This is what you see is the program logic controller system. The whole movement the velocity, the RPM, the movement of the turbine is all controlled through this system. Have a look from the front. This is the exhaust of the turbine and from the top, that is, this is an arc safe nozzle that throws the water. The water goes to a distance of 7 to 8 meters and the wind blowing from the behind tracks the water to the distance of another 180 meters. The added advantage of this turbine is that it can be operated remotely from a distance of 200 to 350 meters depending upon the obstruction. So the most best thing about this machine is that it eliminates the risk of a person being involved into the case of fire. So the human life is saved which is the most important part in any firefighting in any emergency operation. Moreover, when we use the water in so fine droplet size, the consumption of water is very little. It's very little and even more effective. So, I'll take you through the machine. This is the turbine unit which I have told. And below, we have two pumps, two diesel tanks of 950 liters each. And the tanks are interconnected. Filling one tank will all automatically refill the other. We have gauges. And below that, we have a foam tank. The foam, this unit is also capable of self-generating the foam. This complex machine, even if I say that this is complex, but it actually it is not. The operation of it is very simple, but the maintenance plays a big role to maintain such a big huge machine. The OEM and the supplier, that is Mr. Liberty Gas Turbine, has provided all the things, all the, even the smallest of the screws and the rinses which are required for the maintenance of the machine are all equipped in this and presented in a very fine and 
easily convenient way. So friends, what you see here is the entire controlling system of the machine. This is something which is inbuilt in the water mist turbine generator. This is the controller from which all the operations are controlled of the water mist like its RPM, its velocity, its uh, orientation, the flow, everything is controlled through this. And this is the tab which displays all the information like what is the fuel level, if, if at all there is any fault, any fault like I have not parked the vehicle, I have not put it on the handbrake, if there is an, any orientation, every message, every single error is displayed over here. And not only that, it also provides us with the corrective action that we have to take. This is the movement which I can control from this remote. And I, as, as I told you earlier, I can operate this system when I am at a distance of 200 to 350 meters away from the machine. That is, staying in a very safe decision, distance, I can control the whole scenario as it is. And the movement, as you can see, it turns left. 180 degrees. So the left movement is 90 degrees and the right movement is again 90 degrees. The speed of the turbine can be regulated from this simple push button. It goes to a maximum of 15,000 RPM. And this ideal, ideal speed is at 7000 RPM. So at the speed of 7000 RPM, the turbine actually starts. And then it goes up to a RPM of 15,000 RPM. There are very regulatory buttons. This is an emergency shutdown button from which if I wish to shut down the turbine at any time, I can shut it down. The machine is so designed that it starts gradually. It takes some time. A pre-startup time and then the warm-up time which is approximately 2 minutes but if you know, I am in a case of extreme emergency and I wish to bypass all this pre startup checkup then I can just push this button for 3 seconds and it goes it just leaves off all those things and the turbine directly runs in an RPM of 14,000 hours this unit is totally wireless I don't need any connection any cable to run this it is battery operated and the battery strength of the batteries is displayed over here. Whatever things are being done, it is also logged into it. I can connect to my PC and take out the whole data. Like what is the maximum RPM I reached? What was the performance? What was the throw? What was the water inlet? What was the wind velocity? Every data is recorded over here. You know, as I told you, this is nothing less than a jet engine. So when a jet engine roars, it produces a loud voice. A loud voice. And in case of an emergency, communication plays the most vital role. The communication has to be proper. These are the sets which are provided. If I put this on, and there are earmuffs, there is a speaker, and there is a push to talk button. Whatever I can have my communication with my partner, who has another set, with the same facility. So, we are never out of touch. And this is again a wireless device which operates on this on the Wi-Fi signal generated by this machine. This machine which is to be utilized in case of an extreme emergency, I'll just tell you a brief operation procedure of it. This is the panel which is provided in the turbine itself. This is the start button. If I press this, the white button, the system gets powered off. And this and the controller and the tab which displays all the messages, all these three comes into a synchronization. They three start interacting with each other. If any one of the system goes out of the coverage, the system gives an error message that the, some, there is some communication failure. Once I do this, I provide the water inlet. I wait to reach to a pressure of 5 kg in the nozzles of the turbine. And the pressure I can see over here. It's telling me that right now the pressure is 3.8 and which is slowly rising up. I'll wait for it to go till 5 and then that is the time when I will switch on the main pump, the booster pump, which are on the right side. This is the pump. 
if I put it on, the pump will start and then this pump will boost up the pressure to a pressure of something 8 to 9 in the nozzle. And that is the time when we go for starting the turbine at an ideal speed of 7000 rpm which we will take to 15000 rpm. Now I have used the pressure of 5 and I have started the pump. Now once the rpm crosses 11000 I will go from the manual to the run position. That now is the time when the pump will boost up the pressure. Now is the booster pump. So now we are going to start the turbine but before we do that we have to make him sure that just behind the turbine there is nothing. No person, no plants, no trees, no loose material because this turbine will suck everything which comes into it. And this is the procedure to start the turbine. I will press this green button for 5 seconds. This is the signal that the machine has started. चलिए अब हम देखते हैं कि ये पानी कहां तक पहुंचा है सिंगल डायरेक्शन में अभी एक बंदा ये नोटिस करने जा रहा है कि ये पानी कहां तक पहुंचा है